static electricity It's us moving to the stand Alright, hey, what's going on guys? Um, I adjusted, just like a quick note here, I adjusted the volume. I kind of watched the last video that I made and uh, Colin's going to die. But the audio was, I have it turned down super low, but it was still, it wasn't going over my voice, but it was like just about level with it and it, it was kind of, a pain, so I turned the, I turned it down quite a bit. So it should be better, and let's get started on building. I decided I was kind of debating whether I should build on on camera or not. And I kind of decided, you you know what, I'm gonna build on camera because some people like it, some people don't. I kind of want this to be like a longer series, and. I kind of want to capture every moment, except, like I said, if I'm going to build, like, create another world to go get different resources, I probably won't record any of that, unless it's, like, something really interesting, then I might. But we got really lucky with this world, because in case you didn't see the last part, Crimson is all, it's Crimson, um, or, no, it's not Crimson, it's Corruption, and I wish I wanted the Corruption, because every, it seems like every time I make a world, it's crimson and I'm kind of getting tired of that I wanted something new but not only is it crimson but on the right side of the map it spawned all the way at the end past the dungeon so that should be easier to block off so I'm excited for that and uh, I know I'm definitely gonna need to go get more boral wood and right here to the right where you see this little cave tunnel thing that's that's where we're gonna be building our crafting tunnel Really should make a better sword. I don't really like these ones that <coughs> stab. Let's kind of level the ground out here. And everything that we build is kind of going to have a... Like a elevator that I make. Two elevators that I make. Because they're not only just going to be elevators. They're going to be the, the things that keep the corruption out. Or keep it from spreading. Um, I'm going to make them look like wells from like the surface so that way it still looks nice. It doesn't just look like a hole, you know. So that would be a good way to start that. Just kind of get this level out. And, um, keep these stupid slimes away. Gonna have to get make a better sword here soon. With this series, I plan on having a daily upload. Um, by the time you are watching this, I already have five of these pre-recorded. So regardless of what happens, I can still get an upload. And each night I'm gonna upload, so I'll, technically I'll be five in advance. So that's kind of was my main goal was to keep. Keep a consistent thing going on here. This would be a lot easier if you guys would just leave me alone for a little bit. But we can't have that. So let's, uh, hmm. This is going to be a pretty big house. I This will be a great start to the world is just completely avoid doing the, the square. Just like the typical square that you always see. I'm actually kind of stealing this build idea from somebody else, but I think it's a really cool build, and we're going to build it. And every time I've built this, it turns out to be a little different, so we might as well just use this axe. I don't know how much the axe does damage-wise. It's just better because I like it does like a full swing instead of just like a short little jab. Um, let's go up here, and we're definitely going to need more wood here. Don't know how tall we want this, uh, so that's probably tall enough for the first level here. Let's see if I can get lined up here with that. Is that about right? I think so. As soon as I drop down, I'm gonna have to kill some slimes.
Okay. Let's see. Can I, like, hop up and... Yeah, I can. Okay, so I did that right. Alright, now let's, uh... Let's kind of start crafting like this. Start with, we're going to want our good old crafting table here. Just place that down. Jeez, I might want to start... I might want to just, like, right off the bat put a couple doors down. These guys are getting crazy. Let's do that. Let's do that right now. Let's just make... I kind of want to save all my as much of the boro wood as I can, so... We're going to make two regular wood doors, just because that's kind of... Uh, doors, I don't really... The doors don't need to look too great, just because you don't really see them a whole lot, you know? Alright, so what's next? Let's go ahead and make... <laughs> let's do, uh... Start with some of these... Well, no, let's not start with the walls. Because actually, this is going to be ex extended, so... To... To... Oh, man, I can actually reach that. Too wide. So the door's going to have to go out a little further, but it's good for now. Let's go ahead and see if I can... Place down a little bit of dirt. No, I have some more dirt than that right here. Kind of just build a couple little pillars so I can get up higher. Actually, you know what? No, I don't need to do that because that's going to be a floor up there. So that doesn't have to be too wide. Let's get started. Let's just focus on one floor at a time here. So let's get started on the walls and boro wood walls. I don't know about you guys, but personally, I feel like the boro wood is definitely the prettiest looking wood to build out of. I don't know. I think it's cool. So actually, another way to start this is let's go ahead and extend. No, we don't want to put a torch there. I want to, uh, the steps are going to have to be extended like so. We need the slime to back off. You know what? Oh, I was just about to make a better sword, but never mind. I'm very interested to see what uh, what kind of wars we're going to have on this world, too. Alright, so that should be good there. And we, we're going to want to extend the doors out to here now. I should have done that to start with, but that's alright. Okay, and now let's start placing some walls. See if I can do this without screwing up. Um, when I first started playing Terraria, I wasn't really. It's the same thing with Minecraft, which I, um, if I had to pick them between Minecraft and Terraria, it'd, it'd definitely be Terraria. But I've never really been much of a builder, right? So I've always been more of the hey, let's go into that cave there and let's adventure and see what kind of cool loot we can get, right? But. Uh, I don't know, then like like I said, one day like I was in the tower that I built, and I was kind of like, you know what, this is like the ugliest thing ever, and uh, kind of was like, hey, I kind of want to start, I want to make some cool, unique builds, and uh, not knowing how to build really, I went on YouTube and looked up some building tips and ideas, and first of all, this house is one of them, and I thought this house was a great build, and I want to... Uh, build it here and then after I built the house it gave me new ideas for different builds and one build after another and I it turned out to be really neat really cool builds and no better time to do it than right now pretty hard mode just we're not really stressing out about anything and uh, we can just kind of sit back here in the house and build so let's we need to build some more walls here Definitely gonna have to go get more wood, for sure. Okay, so next step is going to be should be lighting, I would say. And let's make some more torches here, and let's go ahead and see what else we can make. Haven't really. Oh yeah, a new sword would be nice, wouldn't it? Some armor. I don't think I'm going to waste anything on wooden armor. Um, what was that? 
It's not leather. Where do I see that? Right here. Leather. That's something you can only get in the... Because what is that? That's rotten chunk. Okay, yeah. Like I said, that's like a crimson exclusive or a corruption exclusive kind of thing. Let's go out and let's explore. Well, exploring this way wouldn't really do much now, would it? Because there isn't... There wouldn't be a snow biome that way, an ice biome. So we're going to head this way, plant some more acorns and that biome. Let's get some of this tin. I see some more tin down there. And, uh, or I said I could just call this tin. It's lead, actually. And let's get uh, some more boro wood and plant some more. Because I already actually took a decent amount from there. I know we're going to want to make a lead anvil. Okay. Got nice little bits of clay there. So we're going to go ahead and plant some more trees. And chop some more down. So this is a really good habit to get into. Chopping trees down and then replanting. Um, so that's something we're going to do. I was debating whether or not I should do this game on uh, PC or not. Um, cause I do have the PC version as well, but there's just something about it. I can't really get into using a keyboard to game with. I don't know what it is. Um, and I've been playing the console version and I've gotten used to the, the user interface, like the crafting menus and all that for the console version. So I decided, you know what, I'll just stick with what I'm, I'm better at. And that way it's not too newbie of a playthrough. And, uh, we'll do that. So, that's what we're doing here today. Obviously, we're on the PlayStation 4. And, uh, I actually just found something out last night. The Wii U actually has a version of the game. And, uh, oddly enough, it's the most expensive version. Like, right, normally on, I believe, for all four consoles, the Xbox One, PlayStation 4, 360, and PlayStation 3, um... The game is normally twenty dollars in the U.S. I don't know uh, the what it would be anywhere else. I, I'm not too familiar with the different currencies and how they fluctuate, but uh, it's twenty dollars here, and I, I I have no clue about the mobile version. I I couldn't be that much. To be I went I can't see it being that much. Um, uh, on PC, on Steam, it's ten dollars, but Steam's always having sales, so it could you could pick it up really cheap. And then on the Wii U, on the eShop, it's thirty bucks. Um, and I I don't know why. It's just kind of I th I feel like it'd be kind of cool to play with the the game pad. I feel like it'd be it would help a lot for building, but other than that, I mean I don't know. So, and uh, another thing to go along with the Wii U, once I have an Elgato, um, there is a couple things on the Wii U that I plan on doing, a couple neat little series that I think I'm going to do, um, having to do with The Legend of Zelda, because Legend of Zelda is my favorite uh, game series of all time, favorite video game franchise, it's what I started with, and uh, I'll always have that love for Zelda. And I am very excited for Breath of the Wild, that is going to be... Awesome. It's gonna be different, but it's gonna be awesome. And we've been waiting a really long time for this, and uh, it should be really good. So let's. Uh, I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of browsing through the menu, seeing what I can and can't craft right now. Let's go ahead and make. All right. Let's see here. I can't make a furnace because I don't have enough stone, but that's okay. Um, we're just gonna kind of chill inside the house here and kind of start building. We got a little more wood to build with, and um, I think I'm gonna do a second floor starting right there. All right. Perfect. Right there. Let's see if I can do this. Bam. Bam. I usually try to get um, the guide and the merchant. You, Those are like the first two NPCs that you would get. And I kind of like to have them in this first starting house. So we're going to get them in here. Um, once it's ready, that is. And... 
eventually I'll make my own house, but that's obviously no big rush, because we're kind of, me and the NPCs just kind of share an area. Um, alright, let's not do that. Let's, uh, get that. I should actually, I should be able to reach that. You know, I don't know why I'm, I'm being stupid. I can just jump up here. And let's go like this, and like this, and, hmm, maybe two more blocks. Okay. That should be enough for the first area. They can't get in. Right, they shouldn't be able to get in. And if they can, I'll just hop up there. Okay, let's go ahead right now and build some of these. And I actually need to build a hammer as well. Do they just... I need you to calm down, sir. Uh, let's go ahead and make these stairs. Right here. Jump up there. And hopefully I gave myself enough room to do this. I think I did. This is something I just figured out you could do, like, a couple days, like, yesterday, or the day before. I did not know you could do this. But you could actually make, like, using a hammer, you could actually y make stairs, and you can, like, kind of put, like, uh, flatten out blocks, if that makes sense. I'll show you. I don't really know how to explain it with the blocks. But if you hammer it, it turns them into stairs. It's so convenient. Look at that. It looks nice. So, right there, and then right here we're going to just do the simple little table and chairs. A candle would be really cool. Um, if I can't make a candle right now. Let's do, uh, they're just like pounding on that door. What, what am I doing all the way over here? We're making table and chairs. Which would look better? We're going to do the boreal ones. We're going to make two like just like that. And for now, just to kind of have some like better lighting, we're just going to do tor a torch here and a torch here. Okay, let's go ahead and set this table and chairs down. I really like to get the aesthetics um, just right because in the end, this is a house. This, is, this isn't just a house, this is going to be a home for the NPCs and myself and I want it to look nice. So this, this should be good enough for, uh, the guy to move into, you know, if he's not for calling. Sign him to room. Housing is already occupied, so he's already living here. Right there he is. Alright, so, Colin lives downstairs. I'm gonna kinda make the merchant's room right here. I feel like this would be cool. And then upstairs, we're gonna have a legit roof that kinda like angles, and that might be where I live, or whatever. Whatever we're gonna do with that. So let's um, let's see what what next. What are we gonna start on now? Um, that's pretty much that concludes downstairs for right now. Anyways, let's go ahead and build a simple staircase upstairs. So let's probably start there and just head up like so, like that. And let me kind of make this legit. My hammer that I put away. Still kind of getting used to using the controls and the interface, but I'll get used to it eventually. And let's go ahead and start. Where, where do I need to start? Right here, huh? And there, then there. Make the proper upstairs. Probably about to. Here should be great, right? Just like that? No, that didn't look good. I need to connect the two. Just like so. And that should be good like that. Okay, we can easily get up and down. Now the next step for this here would be to extend. And let's extend. Just extend to there. Okay, so the house isn't going to be too big. It's not going to be too small either. Um, I feel like this little block here needs to be removed, right? And then same with that. Right? Yeah, that looks kind of good. And let's continue just like this. Over and up. Over and up. Okay. Same thing over here. I, what do we extend by three here? We went one, two. Okay, so three. We extend by three. 
it's gonna be like this. Okay, let's go ahead and just continue this design here for the roof. Um, in the comments, let me know, what what do you guys prefer? Do you guys prefer, uh, if you guys play the game, do you guys prefer console or PC? I doubt a whole lot of people play mobile, but I don't know. I've seen some people with some serious mobile worlds, and, uh, it looks a little odd, doesn't it? And then probably if I remove that there. No, that was the wrong one. Alright, what happened here? go like why does this look so odd like I did that wrong this needs to be removed and this isn't right okay here's what needs to happen quit being a retard and let me see here because this isn't this does that look right is that right I think it is. Sometimes I have a hard time telling. Alright, I need you, sir, to get out of my way. But right, we're gonna kinda start putting in the walls. So it looks like we're gonna have enough wood. Um, I, of course, I'm about to make more walls, but walls aren't that expensive. And uh, so let's f try and fill this in to the best we can. Hopefully. I think we should be pretty good if I just stick like that and alright now it's gonna fill this in. Okay. Let's build some more walls. I don't know why I keep going all the way over there. Right there they are. I need quite a bit. And right off the bat, organization is key. It seems like every time I play any sort of game like this, whether it's Seven Days to Die, Minecraft, any anything related to this, I always seem to just start cramming chests, and then later in the game I can't seem to find anything. And so I have to do this giant organization session that's just a pain. So we're going to make it simple, and right from the start, we're going to be organizing our chests and just make things nice and simple. Right now we don't really have to worry because we don't have too much... Uh, we haven't even filled our inventory, so uh, I already have a chest or two, I believe, two chests ready. Um, we're just going to build a simple little house here, and then we're going to build a crafting station, and the crafting station will have the crafting items, the house will have uh, whatever. I don't really know if the house is going to store anything for now, it's more than, it's mostly just going to be a, um, like I said, just for the aesthetics, and just because it, it looks nice. Me personally, I think this is a beautiful looking house design. Um, and let me just see here, like, can I get this to work? Like, you do something like, that doesn't look right, does it? That doesn't look right to me. I forget, I, I haven't ever actually done this, but you, you, like, smooth out the, how this looks. I don't know why I have a difficult time. I might have to look it up, but I don't know. It doesn't look bad like this, though. Honestly. Okay, so next step here. Let's, um... Hmm. Well... We, we don't have enough coins for the merchant to move in just yet. Well, perfect. It's the next day, and, uh... I actually do not know how long I've been running this. Uh... But probably need to end it here maybe not let's uh get this guy out of the trail here and um go get some more stone we need a lot more stone for what i need to do so let's just kind of explore this little area here real fast so we are going to be using it so i don't let's just go down a little further or maybe this is seems to be actually like a pretty decent tunnel right this is actually pretty good let's just chill here for a second and get some of the stone because I'm gonna need lots of stone and uh, I don't know where this is gonna lead this might lead somewhere really good 
probably gonna lead to our death in the end, to be honest. But uh, let's get a little exploration. Let's get some uh, ores and some stone, because we're going to need a lot of stone for what I'm wanting to do. The gray brick is not cheap, but it is worth it. I think it's one of the prettiest looking blocks. What is that? Down there. Is that a emerald, maybe? That's not... What is that? Let's just check that out. Some type of gem. It's kind of bluish. It's a... Uh, you're kidding me. I didn't think diamonds spawned this... Uh, I, th I thought it was diamonds, but I didn't think that it was possible. So that's diamonds. How, how many did we get there? Uh, 12 already. Huh. That's crazy. Alright, well that's cool. Let's uh, go ahead and get some more stone. Here, it looks like we got some pots in there. Alright, let's whip out a torch. Keep going a little further. I see a little amethyst down there. Let's get some of that amethyst. Alright, place a torch. Don't know, I'm kind of curious just to see what's down here. So we're going to mine a little bit more. Just keep going. It's not going to hurt us because we're going to get, like I said, stone. And, um... be cool if we found, like, a life crystal or something. Let's go ahead and, uh place a torch there and keep heading in this direction for a little bit well never mind about that torch let's replace it right there what is that is that uh it's lead right some lead right there okay let's pull out a torch and see if there's anything in the area. Let's uh, angle down this way. It's times like this I'm gonna want to have a magic mirror. That'd be so nice. I need to check out the crafting recipe for a diamond staff because you know what? I, I'm pretty sure a diamond staff is like I like all the gems and stuff. I think that's like the best staff you can make. So that would be like great to start with. I mean, we'd skip the emerald and amethyst and ruby and all that. And then uh, instead we can make a hook out of whatever else we find. Okay, if we just go straight down here. So grappling hook is like essential. Oh, is that some uh, tungsten there? More lead up there. We, what do we got over here? Don't want to venture too far away from that tungsten because we want to grab that. Let's get that tungsten. Or is that still? I don't know. This kind of looks like, yeah, I thought it was Tunston. You know what? Let's head down here. Alright. Okay. I actually have a few uh, tricks up my sleeve for getting the new ores a little earlier. Still going to be in hard mode, obviously. It has to be. But I kind of know what to do to get them earlier and make things a little bit easier on us. Jeez, this is actually going to go pretty deep. You know, I've kind of been avoiding the copper, but uh, right now, any ore we can get, we need to be taken. Because, you know, the copper is still not bad. I don't think I'll make copper armor or copper tools, but uh, copper is useful for um, building. Okay, let's hop down a little further. I kind of like to place torches along the way just to say, hey, yeah, you've been right here. Jump the slime. Jump that slime again. Uh-oh. Oh, there's a lot of amethyst right there. Let's hope. Uh-oh. All right, come on. We are, we are in the jackpot. Let's kind of try and take these guys out. Get out of here. Oh, we're so dead. We're not going to make it. I'm not going to be able to kill them, but if I can at least knock them down there and build like a platform so they can't get back up, oh man, we'd be set. No, that's okay though. We have pretty much a straight shot right down there, but there was a bunch of amethyst there and like some better ore. Let's not worry about that right this second. Um, let's kind of just get back to our build. So we had a life crystal there, it looked like. Plenty of amethyst for a hook. 
and uh, lots of some tungsten, and that was actually a really good dig from my, mine for our first mining trip. I'd say that we were pretty successful on that one. Okay, so my p original plan was to make this here into the crafting area, but I don't think I want to do that now, just because that was actually really good, and I can actually still make this do a crafting area because we have two ways to get down here. We can, I can make it a mining shaft from up there at the top right, and you know what? Yeah, we can still make this crafting area because I can go to extend to about here, and then kind of angle down there, and it'll still be really good looking. So yeah, we're still gonna do that just out of curiosity. Can I remove that? I can. Okay, I might want to make a better hammer, but that's all right. Let's go ahead right now and make our furnace just because the furnace is going to be very essential look at that white torches i've never made white torches it's kind of a spendy torch to make i'm surprised that we found diamonds right there right off the bat that's kind of odd i've never had that happen in fact diamonds are pretty rare to find just for now we're going to have our crafting stations here in the house um it will be removed later for Alright, so this house is basically just going to be for the NPCs, uh, and the, just to look nice. And we'll have it the actual workstation down below. And here, we're going to smelt up enough lead to make an anvil. Plenty of lead for an anvil. Two tungsten bars to start with. That's pretty good if you ask me. Let's go ahead and do a lead anvil. Okay. All right, that looks good. And uh, place it right there. So guys, this is episode number two or part two, whatever you guys want to call it. And I like, I'd say that we're off to a pretty nice start here. I mean, really, I screwed that one up there. Let's uh, actually, it might look better if I was to remove that wood platform and actually just put a block there, right? That kind of looks a little bit better. That thing right there is bothering me a lot. Um, anyways, let's take a look on here. What does it take for a hook? You know, wait, is that a tungsten? Well, that would look cool, but that is a very expensive. Uh, currently, anyways, that'd be a really expensive thing to build. What we got? Oh, mine carts. I haven't really made any mine carts. Actually, we got clay pots and that's all sorts of stuff chains let's make some chains right now so we can get the sawmill up and running so we it takes 15 that's what i thought was 15 so if i hop down there right now real quick let's end this episode off on an even better note with a grappling hook on part two on part two let's have a grappling hook that would be so sick you know maybe i don't know let's yeah let's grab a torch and let's just go straight back where we were that life crystal too and uh see if I can re-navigate right back down to where I was. I wasn't that far down. To be honest, just follow the torches. It's really all I gotta do. Hopefully those slimes don't shrek me again. They could. Alright, keep going, keep going. Try not to... So there's like a weird root there. I don't know what that's for, but we'll take it. Um, see, there's those slimes again. I was afraid of that. You know what? I feel like if I, I can take one at a time, take on one at a time, wish I could see his health bar. Oh, wow. Wow, he's actually doing some damage. Let's, uh, let's eat a mushroom here. Really uh, should have made a better sword right up there. Jump down. You know what? Screw it. Screw it. Let's go. Just go for it. Just go for it. He might not be able to follow me all the way down here. And uh, Okay, there's the amethyst. Here's what we're going to do. Be quick, be quick. Get to uh, the this good stuff and uh, just build a little platform for Dealey for now. There, he can't get to us now. Perfect. So that just leaves us here with the amethyst. There should be plenty of amethyst for a hook, right? This should be great. This should be. Oh, I already see 11, 13, 14, 16. And right there's 17. Now about that life crystal, I'm standing on some amethyst right here. So look at that. 
20 amethyst. Let's go ahead and place a torch because that's some tungsten, that is some copper, and that is a life crystal. So we gotta take that. Gotta take all that. And even, look at all this right here. This is crazy. I really wish I had a magic mirror or a recall potion or something on me. Let's go ahead and place another torch right here. Let's pick this up. Life crystal, nice, nice. Usually I never have a hook right out. So this is actually going really good, guys. Anyways, I feel like it is. I can get that light order, light or a lot easier with a hook, so. I'm not really going to worry too much about getting that. I'm just going to jump up here and get as much as I can for now. And to be honest, probably just kill ourselves to get back because, uh, well, I don't really see myself going back up. Let's uh, s snag some of, well, I was going to take some of that tungsten, but apparently not. I really need to make myself some better gear. Oh, look at that golden chest there. Man, I really need some better gear. I'm gonna kill this bat here. Probably be easier if I used a pickaxe to kill him. There we go. Alright, see if I can land this. Oh man, there's a bunch of cave bats. Oh, come on. Alright, look at this. Oh, look at that. Loot all. Where's the. Oh man, I, I was. Oh, I'm gonna drop this gold coin. Oh, this is not good. There's another life crystal. Take it, please. Did I get. Am I gonna get this? I got it. I got it. Please can't tell if that oh man I cannot tell if that gold coin dropped or not if we dropped the gold coin that's actually gonna kind of suck man I really hope we didn't drop that we did all right that's okay though because we got an enchanted boomerang dude this is pretty cool actually for the for the start all right I'm, I know I'm running this a little long but that's okay that's all right so here we are back at base and um you know what? Let's let's get a chest put down. Chest or two put down. All right. All right. So let's end this off really nice here. All right. Just place a couple chests. One there and one there for now. Uh, look at that. Extended our life by two. Life bar by two. We got a really cool little boomerang here. This should be pretty nice for slimes, I would say. That's that's awesome. That's perfect. That was a blue slime. Two shots to a blue slime. What, what's it like to a, a little green slime? Oh man, <laughs> look at the knockback on this thing. That's crazy. This thing's awesome. Okay, perfect. I'm really happy with that boomerang actually. And then, to make things even better. Grappling hook. Alright. Let's go ahead and smelt some of the ore that we got as well. All these new recipes. What's that? A copper chandelier? Okay, let's go ahead and make uh, smelt some ore. We got some more lead. We got a little more tungsten and more copper. What else do we got here? We can make lead items. Let's go ahead and make a. Let's see, what is it gonna take here? Let's make a lead broadsword, maybe. Or do we save it for a tungsten? You know what? Lead broadsword for sure just because it's like one melee damage less and uh, anything's better than our current sword so we will definitely take that and I believe we can also make the sawmill okay that's gonna open up new opportunities let's go ahead and put the sawmill right up here for now and uh, let's see where's it at right there it is place that right here just for now like I said we're gonna be building the crafting room and then I, I can make a loom as well Let's get the loom built right there. That is, this is going really good, guys. Place our loom. And with our loom, we are going to craft. I'm just, sorry, I'm just going to go kind of through these recipes and kind of see what we can make now. Let's go ahead and make uh, some. I believe I should have enough cobwebs for some silk right there. Tree silk. That's not quite enough for the bed yet, but that's okay. Oh, you can make banners. That's neat. 
kind of a nub. I'm, I'm still kind of going through this. Tungsten armor would not be bad, but... Um, in fact, we might need to make some tungsten armor. No, 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 we won't. Well, maybe... I don't know. It seems to me like the... We're going to let one guy in here. Just kind of strike him with the boomerang. This thing is so awesome. I love the boomerang. Why isn't the... I wonder why the guide's not in here yet. Oh, dude, I love this boomerang. Look at this thing. Might not be good later, but for now, this thing's perfect. Look at this. Let's get the star. I'm curious why the... I need to, I need to cut this. I'm sorry, guys. This is getting real, way too long. But let's go in here. Let's check out the, our new grappling hook. Oh, my God. Grappling hooks are so awesome. But you know what? I, just, I know just what to do with this. Maybe. If I can get up here. That bird's dead. I thought it was an eye. Um, okay. Checking to see why the guide has not... Yeah, get in here, man. Okay, we're going to end that right here. And part three will be coming out tomorrow. So be excited for that. I am definitely excited for that. What's on the agenda for part three? Building the crafting room that's we're gonna start on that how much stone do we have 168 definitely not enough but a good start okay i'll see you guys in the next one and have a have a good one good night good day whatever a good morning and uh, see you guys next time thanks for watching